close your eyes, think thoughts of goodwill. It's because we have goodwill for ourselves and goodwill for others that we come to practice. Goodwill for ourselves, we see that we're causing ourselves suffering, stress, pain, and it's not necessary. That's the Buddha's message. It's not necessary. There's something that can be done about this. We're not simply the recipients of past karma. We're not slaves to material laws. We have choices. We've been making some bad choices, but we can make them better. We can develop knowledge. As the Buddha said, if people couldn't abandon unskillful qualities and develop skillful ones, he wouldn't have taught. There would have been no use. But it's because we can make choices that he taught us. So the question is, what choices are good? Well, try to get your mind quiet. It's not simply a matter of believing what the Buddha said and following his, his instructions. You have to see for yourself that it does work. Of course, you start out by following his instructions. You, to test his teachings, you have to see that they're worth testing, that they're worth the effort that goes into it. So there's a certain amount of conviction that's required. But a lot of the testing and a lot of the qualities you develop are qualities that make you independent. So you can see for yourself, yes, when I do this, these are the results. When I do that, those are the results. And you can see which ones are better. This is why we develop mindfulness, alertness, and a quality that the Buddha called ardency, not that part. When you really try to do this well, if you're going to give his teachings a test, you have to give them a fair test. And of course, without a question, you learn how to test yourself. But at the very least, you know that you're developing good qualities so that Whatever comes out, you can be a good judge, and you can make up your mind. You have that choice again, which path you're going to follow. So work on these qualities of alertness, mindfulness, ardency. These are the qualities that get the mind into concentration. When the mind is concentrated, it's still enough so it can see things a lot more clearly. And then based on what it can see clearly, that can make even better decisions. And as the Buddha said, it is possible to find long-term happiness. And when the happiness is long-term, that's when you really are showing goodwill for yourself. As for others, it, the practice is one of acting in ways that don't harm anybody at all. So other people benefit as well. The more control you get over the mind, the more you understand your mind, the less suffering you're causing for yourself, then the less you're going to cause for others. So this is a path whose goodness and happiness spreads all around. Which is why the Buddha has us extend thoughts of goodwill not only to ourselves, but to everybody. As the principle of true happiness, because it is found within, means that your true happiness doesn't have to conflict with anyone else's. So you can make your goodwill unlimited. And your practice can have, as the Buddha said, it can offer the gift of safety to all beings, and you've got to share that safety yourself.